Welcome to the Essential Ideas of Joseph Schumpeter. As he so often did, Schumpeter challenged the orthodoxy surrounding the concept of competition. In his view, competition wasn't about the number of firms in a market, but rather how easily new firms could enter the market and displace existing firms. For example, two islands are known for a cool treat, kiwi popsicles. On the Eastern Island, there are 10 firms selling kiwi popsicles. On the Western Island, only two large firms sell kiwi popsicles. Traditional economics tells us that the Eastern Island is more competitive than the Western Island. But let's take a closer look. On the Eastern Island, the government issues licenses for a certain number of firms to produce a preset number of kiwi popsicles. Each firm goes through a lengthy and costly application process, taking up to several years to complete. There are also lengthy and expensive regulatory reports that have to be filed with the government every year, adding even more costs. And the government prohibits any foreign kiwi popsicles from being imported to the island. The result of these protections is that the firms able to obtain a license for kiwi popsicles are able to charge higher prices. Meanwhile, on the Western Island, no restrictions are placed on the number of firms or the importing of kiwi popsicles. So new firms are able to easily enter the market and compete with the existing two firms. This openness to competition forces the two existing firms to keep prices low and to innovate with new products, including different flavors and services like home delivery, in order to stay ahead of any would-be competitors. Instead of worrying about the number of existing firms and their market share, Schumpeter realized we should worry about barriers that prevent or limit new firms and entrepreneurs from entering a market and innovating and competing. For more information on Joseph Schumpeter, visit EssentialSchumpeter.org. And to learn about more essential scholars, visit EssentialScholars.org.